What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like we never, never left. left. We appreciate you guys for tuning back in for this special series. Yeah. Uh, we're checking out Band of Brothers. Uh, today, we're going to be, be jumping into episode two. Episode two. Uh, this is about the Easy Company, the 506th Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division. Mm -hmm. um, and where we left off at, they were actually getting ready to be jumping out of the airplane over Normandy or around the coast. Yeah. Somewhere around in there. Yeah. So that's where we left off at. Yeah. yeah. And and it don't look like it's e it don't look like it was any easy business trying to be in the easy company. No, like it two looks years. Nerve wracking to say yeah. the least. Especially being like the you could just see it all over their faces how like nervous they were when it was actually time to jump. Like I feel like the build up to it was like, oh, okay, you know, we're here. This is what we're here. We came to do this. They know what they're going to go do. Mm -hmm. But it's just like still the thought of the what ifs of things that could happen because of the vulnerability. Like I said, it's you in the sky. It's shoot, you falling out the sky. Right. And you got you to <laughs> jump out of the airplane. That's real. All yeah. Of that. And again, like all the training in the world, two years worth of training. Uh, it, it's nothing like the reality of, of it actually have you know nice. actually coming to fruition yeah, no. and having to jump out uh that jump out that plane yeah you know yeah y'all so wow. let's jump into it make sure y'all like comment subscribe smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ you can tap into the Patreon y'all can see every single one of our unedited uncut videos no ads y'all uh behind the scenes footage Patreon posts all that good stuff y'all it's a great time you are missing out okay and. Shoot, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's jump into it. We came from the sky. We hit, and in any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. Wow. And uh, that was all part of uh, what you accepted. How do you prepare yourself mentally? Each man must do that himself to make that jump. In the back of your mind, you 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 know you you wonder what's going to happen and. Uh, you've been trained and trained and trained and, and what you're supposed to do and uh, you, oh, that's what you got to think about you know whether and we lost a lot of people that night but uh, you try to put it all on your mind wow oh man oh man I feel like oh man oh this is about to get really bad Like I feel, I feel anxious. Okay, I'm telling just, you, just watching. I'm telling. I don't even know if I blinked yet. They just waiting for that green light. each other. Think about being the first person they gotta jump out. Oh! Oh! They shoot! They shoot! Whoa! Wait! Wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Look at that. Look. Oh my God. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. They gotta go, they gotta go. They have to go. Oh my God. Did not expect to see this. They can't jump at this speed! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Things at the 
speed was too fast. It was. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I know. And look, and they just shooting upwards. It, it is just so much firepower. It's like they are lighting up the sky. I think that's the correct reply, Trooper. I say flash, you say thunder. Yes, sir. Thunder, sir. Coach, I was on the basketball team. Like back. Prop last, got it, sir. And my radio and batteries with it. Mine, too. Man, get them hammers on. Follow me. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. How do they even know where to go? They, 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 that's why they need to study the maps backwards and forwards so they know that where everybody was, what everybody's supposed to do. Every way to get there, if you get lost off your track, like that's the reason why they tell you to do that. It's nighttime, too. I know. Aren't you D Company? Abel, sir. Guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone. Or both of us. Do you have a weapon, sir? Just my knife. Locates and landmarks to get our berries. I wonder if the rest of them are as lost as we are. We're not lost, Brian. We're in Normandy. Lieutenant Winters? Is that you? Who? Flashlight. Raincoat. Okay, he's on the map trying to figure out where they're at. We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. Oh, my. Man. You might will stick with us until we find your unit. Let's go. Oh, that's so far to walk. I know. Yeah, and you don't know what you're finna run into with these seven kilometers. With no weapon. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. Is that you? Golly. Marky. Sir, are you? Sir. How, how relieved they feel when they kind of when they when they can meet up again. Yeah. I'd be like, man, I thought I'd never see y'all again. You just don't know if it's smart to walk on the road, though. You know, that's just. And you can't see nothing. Right. Like, they can't see ahead of them, in front of them, sideways. Like to go, guard here. Yeah, it sounds like they're speaking a different language. They don't sound like Americans. Wait for my command. Uh, oh, they're gonna waste all of them. Everything, the horses, everybody. Oh! Garnier! Dang, he like mowed him down. <laughs> Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command, Sergeant. Jeez. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. He didn't even wait for the signal. He just started letting loose. Shout to me for killing Krauts. He just wanted you to wait for his command. Joe, he don't even drink. Just don't know what to expect. Wait. strategy to jump at night but it's also a curse extremely risky McDowell you okay yes sergeant well, let's go and it's like you know they can't jump in the daytime because they'll be seen you know right yeah I promised my kid brother I'd fetch him back a Luger check that one 
Sure, you shouldn't be worried about getting no Luger. It's the Navy. The landings have started. Let's go. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. I'm from Astoria. What gives? What are you doing in a kraut uniform? Volksdeutsche. My family answered the call. Stop fraternizing with the enemy! What, what got you to Eugene? He just picked up a conversation like, you know y'all are enemies right now. Oh, nice What's going man. on? What's the hold up? Not sure. It's good to see you, Dick. Yeah, you too, Buck. 90% of the men are still unaccounted for. 90? If he is missing, wouldn't that put you in line to be the next commander of Easy? Dang. So it's only 10% of them there. Wow. What are the chances of that, huh? You and me, 100 miles from each other. Jeez. Hey, Malak! We're waiting all of you. Yeah, I'm coming. I gotta run. I'll see you around. Yeah. I'll see you around. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you'll see me. Hmm. Check it out. Here you go. I'm in my Really? Did he do it? Easy company. Did he get him a smoke and then just smoke them all? Um, I mean, you got quiet. The ADH we've been hearing have been spotted in a field down the road a ways. Major Strand wants to take him out. How many crowds do you think we're facing? No idea. No idea. Okay, just weapons and ammo. Drop everything else. They going right towards the fire, too. This is what you call bravery. Bravery. Here's yeah. a superhero, for real. Bravery is off the charts, yeah. And it's like you don't know what really to expect. No, they don't. You heard him say he don't even know how many. Right. I just want to see how they finna form this formation to be able to get any kind of leverage. Three cannons. Take two men and hit him from the left. Man, they gotta be so covert. Take Ranny, envelop Bright, give covering fire. Hooray, on the machine gun. Don't give away your position until you have to. I want that TNT as soon as you see we've captured the first gun. Go. See? Can't no mistakes be made. Go. I can't see nothing. And they see exactly where he at, too, in the tree. Oh. oh, is it jammed? No. Oh, gosh. It's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just whizzing by too. Jesus Christ! Oh, Fucking G Jackie. I'm sorry, sir. I screwed up. I know he failed, he caught one. Stop. Oh, snap. Lucky bastard, Joe! Go there, Malarkey! The way you secure that gun! Oh, oh he 
dropped it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Jesus Christ. Fucking twice. Oh, he have it twice. He's. Ready! Move! I got the first gun! See, that's the other. They're trying to take that out. Wow, look, just a full on assault. Nick Shison! Nick Shison! He got done back from there! Look at all of that! Shut the fuck up! He got done back from there! Finna know this is Woo! He went with the brass knuckles on him. Oh gosh. Hey, it's, it's kill or be killed. Ooh, this is intense. He must be doing something right, look! Got him so confused, they're firing on the third gun! We better blow this thing before they figure out what the hell's happening. I think one of those dead crabs has a Luger! Have a little suppressing fire, why don't ya? Jesus Christ! Oh, he just took off. Now you stop firing! And here he go, he's still looking for a Luger. Christ, they must think he's a medic or something! He's gonna need a goddamn medic. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta play dead. Why'd you get up? Why'd he get up? Why'd he get up? Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh, he can't keep doing that. He can't keep doing that. Oh God, you freaking Luger! He was lucky. Hiya, cowboy! Cut your fucking Jimmy trap, gonorrhea. It's all right, that kid. Jesus, you got a whole crop of food out there. I got TNT, sir. Good job, Charlie! Oh, buddy! I don't have any way to set it off, sir! They're gonna try to go ahead and destroy it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Oh, shoot, you idiot. He didn't pull it out. Nah, they destroyed it. That's all they were trying to do. <laughs> oh. So they can't use it. Right, 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 okay. Yeah. I, th I thought they were trying to shoot it. Oh, nah, nah. Oh. We'll soon find out, Dick. Man, I'm telling you, this whole part right this is heavy. Ain't it, though? Man, they are tough. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Yeah, boy. Man, you hear that sound? No, they lost somebody. Oh. Hey, Sarge! Battalion headquarters! It's back that away! Do we know that? Oh, it's like you gotta keep your face buried in the dirt. That's the set you needed ammo! Malarkey! As much as you can! Everyone! Man, they shooting in every direction, literally. Grenade! Joint! Move oh, out! Wow. <laughs> Man, they're taking a lot of fire. Move out! Move out! Move it out! Fall back to your original positions! Okay, back to battalion! Go! Go! Hey, Popeye. 40. They didn't lose a lot of people. Yeah, probably there's 40 left. Maybe mortars might do the job. Sure. Careful. Don't hurt yourself. Nice ride you got here, Nick. Look at all of that. I know. Look at the look at the street oh, is red. Gosh. By nightfall, 2nd Battalion had secured San Marie de Mont. Most of the 101st Airborne, including Easy Company, was still scattered all over Normandy. We had an hour to rest and scrounge whatever food we could before we had to move south and secure the town of Coulterville. Back in this damn truck is what? Jesus! Let me out of here. <laughs> he, he passed gas in there. I, I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> That's why he said, let me out. 
What the hell do you know about cooking? You're Irish. Sir, if you have a reservation someplace else, I'd be happy to go with you. They only got an hour to eat. What is that? Jesus Christ, give me some air. <laughs> Evening. Any word on Lieutenant Mann yet, sir? No, not yet. Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. Sir. Uh, Joe, Lieutenant, don't drink. It's been a day of first. Hmm. You say that again. <sighs> Dick, you know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's on your mind? I lost a man today. Hall. I, I never knew him. Yeah, you did? Five or six basketball team, Abel Company. Oh, that's right. He's a good man. Man. Not even old enough to buy a beer. Wow. Hey, Dick. I sent that map up to Division. I think it's gonna do some good. I think that's the map that he found. Yeah. I think it was like the, the Germans' map of what, like all the guns that they had? Mm-hmm. Or like, as far as like they position, all location they, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, like the logistics and... Yeah. Just think about like going through all of that and then being where he had walk, walking around and all you can do is just think about what you did that day. Right. Or saw the bullets you had to dodge, the people that died in, in the midst of it, and then and then going back and then doing it all over again. Yeah, thinking about the mistakes you made. But I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days, and prayed I would make it through D plus one. And if somehow I managed to get home again, I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. Quiet. Key word. Peace. Yeah, all of that. Uh, hearing all of that constant going on. Mm -hmm. I, I can't see how people could be normal. It's so loud. And they might. I think that's south. You know where they where they got to move towards Coulterville. I think that's probably that direction. Brown stars. Silver Stars. Buick Compton. Bill Garnier. Wow. Music Company's capture of the German battery became a textbook case of an assault on fixed positions and is still demonstrated at the United States Military Academy of West Point. Wow. That scene, this whole episode was so intense. Wasn't it though? Oh man. You know, like a part of me, like it's just crazy like to think about. Cause sometimes I feel like when I watch stuff like that, it almost makes me feel sick. Just just because it's just so intense, like the intensity, like it and the and the like the perception or the per perspective that they're giving it to you from it seems it's so heavy. realistic. Like I'm sitting here ducking and dodging. <laughs> like I'm like I'm duck you know, <laughs> like yeah. I feel like I'm I'm there, you know, and, yeah. and feeling that but I, I, to say the least, like, I, I just feel like those are the real MVPs, the real superheroes, the real brave men that yeah. put their lives on the line, like, every single day to protect. And it's, it's, when you see it like that, and it's just like, to see it, that it's, like, it gets real like that, mm -hmm. then you, I mean, hats off to all the, all the vets yeah. out there, all the people who serve, all the people who have been in, in that position in the war, who fought, who fight now, who did. You know, who thought about it, just, it's just... Who died, right. like, like, all of that. Every single person, and it's, it's just crazy to see it like that. And I'm literally sitting here, I almost feel queasy a little bit, like, yeah. watching that. Yeah, just, it, it was it was really intense. You almost feel, like, drained, like, even watching it, because mm -hmm. because your, your energy level is, like, so... Just, you really, like, honed in on everything that that's happening right now. Even right. from the very, very first, like, moment, from the first minute that we were watching, that they had to jump out... And as soon as they like went through the clouds where it was like lightning and and well not lightning but you could hear like the bombardment of like like the guns and the drums going off and, and yeah. bombs in the sky going off yeah. like when you saw that part and they drove in and they not drove but flew into it that part was like so surreal because again that's, that's what, the, what that's what they prepared for yeah. but again it's like you didn't prepare for that mm -hmm. like there's no training that can prepare you to be in the airplane taking on fire. 
No. And you still got to jump out of the plane. Not. You know, like, at all. Yeah. But But just like you said, the perspective from where the cameras are showing you, like, like it, it's just so realistic. It just takes you right there on the battlefield yeah. with them fighting. And it, it really takes you mm. super, super in depth to everything that, that's going on. Right. You know, but yeah. but but another thing is like, you know, you got it's like they got to be like so self disciplined to be able to go in there and and to still get the job done. Use use your training, use those same tactics, and and, and still be able to work as far as like teamwork right. and being able to do all of that while you're under that type of duress and stress and pressure. Just yeah, just goes to, to to show you like, like the, how sharp, <laughs> how how exemplary like the. The training and and how tough and hardcore that they have to be mm-hmm. to be able to go in there in, in those type in that type of situation yeah. and you know I can't say enough just like you said hats off to the the whole regiment like the whole division like as far as what they had to like go in there and do and and, and endure yeah. it's just out of world it was like an out of body experience like watching them go through all of that right it was a lot for them just to take that over yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and it was a whole lot less of them than it was of them. Because even when they went in, it was they were blindsided. Like, they didn't know how many people they were going to run into. They just had a plan it was of all, how it, they were going to take them out. It was almost like it was like a, <clears throat> almost like a square to a degree. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, and it's like, how do you attack something like that? Yeah. You know, where you get down in the trenches. But it was exactly how they, how they said that it was designed with the trench and how you got to run all the way around where each gun was, like, pointed at, like, that, like they had a great plan when they went in, but yeah. I, I just like how they executed it too. Because yeah. execution is everything. Follow the when plan. When it comes to this, you know. Okay, <laughs> follow the plan, and, and as you see, it pays off. Like, woo, that was intense. Man. I know the entire like episode. <laughs> this entire episode was just dang. This was an incredible. I mean, to 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 say the least. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Same. So I don't know, y'all. Y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this so far. Like this, this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I want, I'm ready to get into the next one, y'all. Yeah. But like after what, even watching this, I'm just like, whew. Yeah. Like, like it's only going to probably get worse. I'm sure. Yeah. And I'm going to have to check that out too. What they were saying at the end about them being, like being able to take over that, that whole German gun part right there where it was something to do with how they executed it and, and went in there I, I gotta i gotta read up on that to check that out yeah yeah okay because they still use that to the day like some certain type of tactic strategy whatever it was you yeah know? okay well y'all tap in let us know what y'all think if y'all enjoyed this be sure you give us a big thumbs up like comment subscribe chime in in the comment section all that good stuff y'all and if ain't nobody else told you i love you and we're gonna see y'all in the next video y'all absolutely <laughs> bye